Are you ready for a Lights Out event? It is the number one thing on my list in terms of things to prepare for, in terms of survival, and in terms of an event that could happen any day and derail life as you know it. Now, the reason that I put this so high on the list, well, number one, is because of the devils that run around this place. I know what they did on 9-11. I do not forget. I do not forget all the other events that's been pulled off. And I know that this would be a grandiose event to bring America to its knees if it ever happened. And collapse your dollar, everything we've talked about before, it would send this nation into chaos. It would be the domino that sends this country down. And to me, it would be part of a major plan. You ever ask yourself, why do they not redo the infrastructure in this country? How come they spend no money on it? It's just vulnerable as it gets. China, Russia, everyone else knows this. All you got to do is hit one or two little substations and you can black out a whole coast. I think Texas is the only big chunk that sits independent from the rest of the country. And I think the last real test that we had is when the East Coast had seen the big blackout, had people walking in droves all over the place, and that didn't last too long. Now, if you were to have an event like that last just a week, to seven to ten days, that would really test the people. That would really test the survival skills, the communities. You would see who would come unraveled quick and who would pull together. Now, in terms of a solar event, in 1859, what they dubbed the Carrington event, that, that thing sent auroras across the globe. The thing with the Carrington event is that it could happen at any time coming from the sun. At any time, it could happen from the sun. So, this is why I always say that a lights out is the type of event that is at the top of my list because not only could this happen from man pulling off some stuff, but it could also happen by Mother Nature or from the sun itself that uh, ejects a massive ball of plasma or a CME toward the earth and uh, causes a lot of problems. But you have to ask yourself, what do you have in terms of supplies to survive such an event? Seriously, if the lights went out tomorrow morning, what do you have in terms of preparedness? And of course, when the Carrington event took place, we did not have electricity set up like we do today around the globe. And today, if this was to happen, there's some unique things that come into play here. Now, there was an article that was just published that's talking about this 300 million year old rock that is beneath the surface of the eastern seaboard and that this could amplify the next big solar storm from Washington, D.C. all the way to Maine. They're saying that the makeup of this rock would not allow the solar energy to pass through it. It would instead ricochet and it would come back up to the surface, doubling the impact on the region. And they're saying this isn't the only problem facing those who live on the East Coast. According to the USGS, they're saying that on the eastern seaboard there is a risk for blackouts not only due to its abundance of the insulating rocks but also due to the region's proximity to the North Pole where intense solar activity is most likely to strike. So the rock and the composition of the East Coast is going to act as something that will ricochet this energy and could potentially cause a double whammy in some of these areas. And that's coming from a solar type of event. And this is just some updated information I wanted to share with you guys in terms of that. As I always say, make sure you have a plan for a lights out situation. If you have one, you'll be in good shape to survive most other events. I'll leave a link below and stay tuned for more. I got a lot of exclusive and unique footage coming on both channels. You don't want to miss. It's been Dabu7. Make sure to follow me on Twitter as well. Peace.